net carbs, total carbs, aren't carbs just carbs? In this video, we will go over what net carbs and total carbs are and how you should calculate them on a ketogenic diet. <laughs> Net carbs are the carbohydrates that actually affect your blood sugar levels. And these are the carbs that matter on keto. And let me quickly explain in the simplest terms why. When blood sugar levels are high, we have a high insulin response. And insulin is responsible for storing or burning fat. So basically, net carbs are the ones that affect our blood sugar levels and increase our insulin. And those are the ones we want to calculate. Total carbohydrates do not just include the carbohydrates that affect our blood sugar levels, but all carbohydrates, even the ones that do not. For example, fiber and sugar alcohols. But who am I anyway? Well, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Talita from Shrinking with Keto. And throughout my ketogenic journey, I have lost over 190 pounds and reversed my type 2 diabetes. Throughout my ketogenic journey, I have helped and coached numerous people, and I hope my videos can help you. Fiber is a carbohydrate, but not one that our body can digest, and therefore, it does not trigger an insulin response. That's why we remove it from our total carb count. Sugar alcohols are also a carbohydrate, one that is written in the total carbohydrate count. But like fiber, they cannot be fully digested by our body, so therefore, they do not cause an insulin response. Most sugar alcohols have a negligible response to our blood sugar levels, with the exception of maltitol. Maltitol has a glycemic index of 36. Why is the glycemic index important anyway? The glycemic index is how quickly a food will cause our blood sugar levels to rise. And it's ranked from 0 to 100. 0 meaning it won't affect them at all, and 100 being, well, table sugar. Okay, so how do we calculate our net carbs on a ketogenic diet? But before we go on, let me interrupt you for a second. If this is the first time you're seeing this pretty face, let's make sure it's not the last. So please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and ring that bell icon so that YouTube can let you know every time I make a new video for you. And please feel free to ask me anything you want down in the comment section below, and I will try my best to answer every single one of your questions. I will also ask you to take a second and press the thumbs up button under this video as it helps this content reach more people that need it, just like you. In order to calculate the net carbs on a nutritional label, you're going to have to look at the total carbohydrate count, then subtract the fiber count, and then subtract the sugar alcohols. And that's how you're going to have your net carbohydrates, the ones that actually affect your blood sugar levels. A side note here that is very important is that if you're reading a nutritional label of a product that is coming from Europe, or if you are in Europe, then you do not subtract the fiber because the fiber has already been subtracted from the total carbohydrates, even though it is still written on the label. Therefore, you only subtract the sugar alcohols, and that's how you get your net carbs from a label in the European Union. When calculating the carbohydrate count of a food like a vegetable that does not have a nutritional label, I would like you to Google it or use your food tracking app. Again, you're going to subtract the fiber count, for example, from broccoli, and that's how you're going to have your net carbohydrates. So there you have it, what net carbs are, what total carbs are, and how you can calculate them for the ketogenic diet. And as always, chin up, or you know, the crown slips.